Hey performers, welcome back to Palm Performance. This is the Summer Sculpt series and today is Tuesday, so it's going to be a lower body, mainly legs and a little bit of booty as well because you gotta do booty. So we are going to start right off with our calf raises, nice and simple to start off with. So feet are like hip distance apart and just rise up. All rise, all rise, all rise. Okay, let's go. I always like to do cap raises one just for a warm up move, but I honestly like never do anything with my caps. I, I mean, besides like walking, like usually when I focus on legs, it's usually thighs or booty. So I like to, I have to remind myself we have calves too. Those are a muscle group. <laughs> so. They start to burn rather quickly, um, but it's like it's a good burn. You need the burn, so this is going to be a great uh, leg day. So keep rising, and okay, let's squat it out a little bit. Okay, so like I said, this is the summer sculpt series. We're getting ready for summer, so it's going to be mainly cardio as well. So we're putting in a burpee. Don't get scared. Okay, so this is a skater burpee. So you're gonna skate, turn. This is what a skater is. This is a skater. So you skater, jump up, and burpee. So, great thing, no push up. It's just putting in the jumping aspect of the burpee. So, I'm obviously turning to the side for my burpee because I have a wall behind me. <laughs> I like to face you though, so. I'll just have to put up the fence. So, <sighs> I did the burpee first out of the cardinal moves to get it out of the way, because look, now, now we're done for round one. Okay, now, next we're doing, please squats, we're doing it with our heels up though. So, really gonna feel the burn with our calves first. So, if you need a wall for balance, find a wall. Find a chair if you need one. Otherwise, we're just doing this little bounce. This is called a pulse. So, we're just pulsing up and down. It's a small movement, but the purpose is to have high repetitions. Ah, so, we're already halfway through this, so make sure you're not like up here, you're down low. Feeling in your thighs. This is leg day, it's supposed to hurt. And come up, okay. I personally think this is the most difficult move, or not difficult, the one I hate the most, I should say. Uh, so it's lunge jumps. So we're in a lunge, a lunging, and then we're jumping. Lunging, and then jumping. So this definitely burns my thighs, <laughs> especially the outer thigh. So if this is too challenging, just walk forward lunge. Nothing wrong with that. Aim for the 90 90 degree in your knees. Otherwise, you're jumping with me. So, this in itself is a modification. Having the pulse in between. Otherwise, just hop in. And this kills. <laughs> okay, stand up. So, I like to punch out my thighs because they're always burning after that. Okay, now, we're doing a pleated pulse again. However, our heels are down, so we're Calming down a little bit. <laughs> so, one stance and just pulsing down low. So, we have a much more solid stance now that our heels are down, which makes it a little bit easier, meaning we can push ourselves harder. <laughs> so, make sure you're down low. You're going to feel it on the tops. That's good. That means you're working. The reason why we're doing this is to make ourselves feel more confident and work hard and get ourselves ready for summer. So, oh, I still can't believe it's May. 
Like, this year has been flying by already. Oh, May 15th, graduating. So, very exciting stuff for me. I've been waiting very long for this. So, uh, ooh, cardio move, cardio move. Exciting. Don't worry, it's just jump roping. <laughs> so, I like to do a little tap in the front. When I jump rope, make sure you're moving your arms because we're we have an invisible jump rope. So, or you can do double if you prefer double. But I feel like it's a little bit easier on my knees when I tap out. That's just me. Plus, gives a little bit more attitude with the hips, which I'm all about attitude. So, make sure you're engaging your biceps so they're not just flailing around. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, jump rope thing's fun. Ooh, okay. Balance move. Side leg swings. So, starting with the right leg. Grab a chair or a wall if you want one. I like to keep my hands on my hips. So just rise to the right. Sit back a little bit. So I have a cushion of my mat. So, as I've said before, I arranged these moves to have more intense ones in the beginning half and the less intense ones in the second half. One, to catch your breath. That's why I have like every other move being cardio. But two, I think it's, I don't want to burn out. Um, I think it's important to have, you're still working, moving. However, the intense part is in the beginning. And you have the second half to regain a little bit to prepare you for the second and third round. So, next move is front kicks. So, we are braced. We're leaning back slightly. We're not all the way back here. Just a little bit to brace our core for balance as we kick forward. So, we're alternating kicks. So, if you ever taken a kickboxing class, I'm sure they said keep your guard up, protect yourself. However, <laughs> I'm not a kickboxing instructor. What I like to do, because it's more entertaining for me, I like to like punch my arm down as my leg goes up. It just like feels like, I don't know, <laughs> like I'm a robot or something and I'm like, or a puppet and I like pull the string and it kicks my leg up. I don't know, that's what I find entertaining. <laughs> I like it. So, you gotta find what works good for you that entertains you while you're working out. <laughs> Makes it so much more fun. I'm always referencing like superheroes or princesses all the time. That makes it more fun for me. So, left side, bring it up. Grab a wall or a chair if you'd like to. Otherwise, test your balance. Balance is all core work. So, we swing up and down. Try to pause a little bit. Um, so we're not using momentum because that will one throw off our center and then also it makes you work harder <laughs> to have a second to hold in because momentum also gives you a break and done. see the second half goes by so much quicker we're on our last move of round one or two or three whichever round you're on this is the shuffle taps, which I find really fun. So I'm starting on the left side of my mat, and I shuffle, shuffle, and tap down. You're tapping down in like a squat, so shuffle, tap down. I feel like a frog when I do this. <laughs> like I said, you gotta find what's entertaining for you. I really like this move. It's a bit of cardio, a bit of leg work, and the movement is fun in general. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit of everything. So if you have a little bit more space, you can, I'm sure, jump much wider than I am. 
which go for it because it's so much more fun when you can go as high as you can and as far as you can. And last one. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so that was our last moving round one. Unless if this is your second round, then you have one more round to go. And if this is your third round, congrats, you just finished Tuesday of leg day. Who doesn't love leg day? It's my favorite day, I would say. So prepare, go get a drink of water, prepare yourself for tomorrow because it's going to be all core, which is going to be so much fun. Um, so get ready. Make sure you're drinking enough water, getting enough sleep, and oh, so, um, like and subscribe and make sure you get notifications to not miss any more videos because we are getting ready for the summer self challenge. So tomorrow's Wednesday. Prepare for upper body. Bye.